Hey, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing okay. And like always, I want to take this time to thank all my subscribers. For those who leave a comment, it's truly appreciated. So I've been having a lot of issues with my layout of cars becoming uncoupling, uh, losing power in certain areas, unlevelness. And you can see is when I first built the layout, I did it in, um, did the foundation and then I did it, the boards, really thin boards. And they were on level. So I decided to redo everything since I'm gonna do the elevated line with Atlas track. So I went to Lowe's and I got me some half inch plywood, which is uh, super smooth on both sides and uh, painted white. It's really level, really smooth, so you don't have to sand, you don't have to do anything. It's expensive, it was $45 a sheet, but it's well worth it. And as you can see, I, um, I relayed down the track, I secured it, and uh, I checked the powers, make sure that I have power all the way around, no power losses anywhere, as I did before. Basically the same layout. The only thing is the foundation is a lot heavier duty. I'm going to change some stuff around. I'm getting rid of some buildings, adding new buildings. Uh, the city layout is going to be different. In part two, you're going to see the construction of the elevated line. Since I went from uh, 027 Lano curves up to uh, 042 Atlas curves, I made it oval instead of uh, with the curves in it, that uh, wishbone type of thing I used to have. In the country scene, after getting inspiration from uh, several of you guys out there, I decided to build a mountain. Give it a shot at uh, building a mountain. I'm gonna do a, a hill or a mountain, if you will, with a road going around it, parallel to the track, and uh, see how it comes out. Well, you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, Click the little bell button so you know when my next video will drop. And um, most important, happy railroading. Bye.